Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy and today uh, this is not going to be a great video, not going to be a long video, but something I, I think that absolutely needs to be said. Um, we just got a tweet from El Chico Eevee that reads, Pokemon Unite Datamine Leaks Zoroark will be one week release with only the skin. This means we can only buy the character with the skin or wait when it's available with coins, which is a week. Zoroark price will be 14,000 coins and normal gens after the first week. I was told it was fine to share this. Um, Look, I, I actually had to re-record this because my recording messed up, so I'm going to keep this brief. I think this is absolutely disgusting. I think it's shameless. I think gem-locking Pokemon to begin with is a, a terrible way to treat the free-to-play community. And I, I there's a couple of maiden things that I want to talk about here. And look, I know I'm the negative guy. I know I crap on the game a lot, so I'm sorry. But this is something that we should all be talking about. Um, you can exploit the whales in your game, the people that spend a lot of money for the majority of the profits that they make. That's what their strategy is. They want the people that are constantly spending money to be the people that keep continuing to fund the game. Um, but what you don't want to do is disenfranchise and shit on the free-to-play community because the free-to-play community gives the community a feeling of wholeness. It's the people that fill in the queues. It's the game. It's the people that are constantly engaging with the game, maybe watching content or watching tournaments in stream chats. It is the community, the minor or the majority of the community. Majority of the community is free to play most likely in all of these games. And so, you know, it was already pretty shameless and, and disgusting to gem lock releases when it's not like everybody can afford every Pokemon anyways with coins. So you're just, you're, you're forcing FOMO, which again, the acronym is fear of missing out. You, you force them to have this feeling of, oh, I don't want to miss out on this. I want to be a part of this. And so they want to spend money. So you're already forcing that. And now you're forcing FOMO by almost doubling the cost or doubling the cost to force it with a skin release. And I just quite literally think that that is a shameless, shameless, disgusting business practice. The usual, like what, 565 gem cost is now bumped up to 1381, but it's on sale, right? 1625 on sale for 1381. And it puts us in this weird situation because I think that something else that is another big point that I wanted to touch on is that content creators like myself, Chris, Spraggles, Teeds, et cetera, et cetera, we're, we're kind of forced to purchase this. We're kind of forced to play into this for the livelihood of our, of our role, our content, our jobs. And so it's it, the hypocrisy of what I'm about to say is totally actualized and acknowledged here. I'm basically begging you, please don't don't buy into these business practices. I'm basically begging you to say that, hey, look, we are probably going to do it. I'm not for Zoroark because I'm still on October, um, the October boycott, which is not going to last forever um, because I don't need it to. I, I can't. I really need to get back to making content on a normal schedule. Um, but. I'm basically begging you to allow the content creators to, to to play into this because we have to for content because we want to do it for our jobs and for the videos that we want to make. But please don't buy into this. You know, the more and more they see that they can get away with this, the worse and worse it's going to get. And they're pushing it every single time and they don't communicate with us. I think that a really big thing to understand is that if this if this was the only issue with Pokemon Unite, maybe, maybe I would come on here and or I would post a tweet and say, hey, look, I'm not really a fan of this. I really hope that they decide to change their mind. But I would be a little bit more calculated, a little bit more meticulous understanding right now. I just feel, I feel disgusted. I feel like this is overly shameless. I feel like they don't communicate with us. They don't improve the rank experience. Uh, they don't give us a solo duo ladder or, or anything to grind for. They've removed hollow wares. Um, they have continued to push these monetization practices. Like it's, it's this on top of every other issue that the game has that exacerbates how bad this is, right? Just how shameless and disgusting and, ex and manipulative and exploitative this is because they know that the whales will spend. They know that people love Pokemon. They know that content creators are going to continue to push. Like, it, it's just quite literally shameless, all while doing that without saying a word about it, right? And so, you know, like I said, I know I crap on the game a lot. That's not what I'm really trying to do. They just make it so damn easy. So, friends... Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, let me know your thoughts. Like, uh, you know, like as a free to play community, I mostly, I like, I, I skirt that line. I'm a fence sitter. I spend money, but I play a lot free to play. Um, as a mostly free to play player these days, I just don't, I don't, I can't support this. But at some point, like I'm telling you, I, I understand the hypocrisy. I'm completely admitting to it. At some point, I'm going to have to to buy this. I'm going to have to get into to doing these purchases, whatever the, the gem locked releases. I've been trying to avoid it, but at some point I got to make content, you know, and um, it sucks to see that they're just taking advantage of, you know, the human psyche and the psychology behind of not wanting to be behind, not wanting to miss out pro players, not wanting to miss out. They don't want to be behind, so they're going to buy it, um, you know, and then the regular player base is left either feeling like they're window shopping, you know, sitting behind the glass, just watching everybody else have fun, like the, the Squidward meme where he's watching SpongeBob and uh, Patrick have fun or, you know, feeling left out or 
you crack and you give them money. So, you know, Timmy Studios put up a hard stance today. Give us money or sit the fuck down. You know, that's pretty disgusting to me. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I appreciate you for watching. As always, be sure to be kind of one of them. Tell someone you love them and I'll see you on the next video.